country is facing a spike in cases of the Delta variant, too. The government is responding with a vaccine passport for anyone wanting to go to cinemas, museums, or sporting events. I'm joined now by freelance reporter Lisa Louis. She's in Paris. Um, good morning to you, Lisa. Good to see you. So tell us more about this passport and how it's going to work. Yes, thank you for having me. So this health passport is in effectively kicking in today. You will need it if you want to get access to certain cultural venues, such as theatres and cinemas, if there are at least 50 people inside. The government has said that if these venues then use, you know, put in place that rule for the health passport, you won't have to uh, wear face masks inside anymore. Um, mind you, some venues have already said that they would keep the face mask rule because they're afraid that the COVID-19 variant, the Delta variant, could spread anyway. And the world was really watching to see what would happen after Macron made the announcement that you needed this passport vaccination appointments just exploded um, in the, the 24 hours following the appointment. Over one and a half million people signed up to get a shot. But for those who are still hesitant or don't want a vaccine, how's this being received? Well, polls show that the majority of the French population is in favor of uh, the new rules. They want people to get vaccinated. Many people here feel that, you know, uh, you know, they are getting the jabs. Why shouldn't everybody get them? Why would they have some people wait for, you know, the to see actually their side effects on, on those who were, who have been vaccinated? Mind you, there have also been some protests against the new rules on the Wednesday after the announcement, which was made, made on a Monday, and then another, another round of protests on the Saturday, the following Saturday. But so far, there haven't been millions turning out actually to the streets. They haven't taken to the street. There were only 114,000, which is relatively limited in France, a country of protest, really. And as you said, millions of people have made appointments and the government is hoping to really gear up the vaccination campaign in the, com in the coming weeks. And we have a few seconds left, Lisa. What about travel? Is France welcoming tourists? We, uh, France is welcoming tourists. Uh, there are certain rules in place. You need vaccination, you need a negative tests. That really depends on the country you're coming from. Uh, the government has obviously said, told the French that it's preferable they uh, go on holidays, holidays inside France. So everybody's really wary of what will happen during the holiday season here. Lisa Louis joining us from Paris this morning. Lisa, thank you for that update.